Either way, uh, our second match, I believe you might have actually something to say about this one because yes. it is from your group. Yes, somehow both casters have one group that they each play in. So we're going to have group B with a Hoon and a Dafayesh. And um, I think you pointed this in the previous cast and I kind of agree with it that this group has the highest floor and the... I want to say the mid, the least amount of separation between the best and the worst player. It's Hunu, Adap Hayesh, me, Wrestler, Martini, and Koopa. And uh, pretty sure that everyone can make out of that group. It, it, basically, before the group, everyone just had different predictions on who's going to make it, but because everyone just feels very close between each other. And uh, in this particular match, Hunu versus Adav Hayesh, this is Adav Hayesh's first group stage match that they played. While Hunu has c currently lost a match versus me, like Wrestler 7 to 5. So, and and uh, from the looks of it, um, I'm currently going to be in the lower part of the group. So Hunu mm. would desperately would need like a win. And winning here would put him right back on track for getting out of the group. While the loss a loss wouldn't be a disastrous by itself yet, going 0-2 and having to play both Martini and Koopa doesn't feel good. Everyone matters. Yeah. I mean, I think in this group, uh, the popular opinion is that Ada will take first. So the expected result is likely going to be an Ada Fiesh win. Spoilers. Apologies. But... Uh, and losing to Adefiash is not a bad thing in of itself, but the fact that you have dropped games beforehand is gonna leave you in the dust pretty quickly in a group as competitive as this. So Hunu definitely needs, if not a win, then as many points as they can get out of this game. And, well, the format will stay the same. So we will start at Ballroom yet again. Apologies, I will need to buy some more time because I was slightly slower on opening up the game, but... We now see Hunu playing as one of the twins yet again. People keep picking twins. And, well, let's see how this goes. Yeah, twins seem to be very popular to, in these cast this day. This time it's Blink. We'll see how Hunu's going to do in this set. Well, in this game, rather. We're going to start it in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Man, I'm telling you, the random is biased. It gives you twins way too often. And I can't say that because Hunu's ambassador is Queen. And that's not usually a conscious choice. That usually means that you are randoming. And, well, yet another twin game. Come on. I mean, uh, there is some, actually some reason to pick twins. Because, um... Especially if you, let's just say for like a soft tellers like Prince, you may confuse which twin had with had Prince, which wasn't. Usually snipers are good enough to remember which one had with uh, what, but sometimes that little bit of confusion is all the spy needs, and you can see why twins may be popular. Confusion is definitely something that you want to induce as a spy and. The fact that there are two of them and they look the same. And that brooch, it's harder to see than at least on the tray of Toby. So. Um, excuse me, they're definitely not the same. They have a very distinctive tie clip and earrings. And also the oh, ring. No. So. Either way, uh, pretty nice progress on the seduce. Actually, we are a minute and a half in and uh, we are at 77% lurk. Unfortunately, no other progress just yet. We have innocently rejected. And we are on pace to get the floor down and then start playing the game. Um, our seduction target is having none of that. The flirt will not be completed just quite yet, but still minute 45. Plenty of time to get one talk from basically anywhere. Uh, the issue is starting to be not in the talk, but in the everything around the talk. Because while the war is our oyster, we have less than 90 seconds on the clock, and we haven't even started doing anything else. 
I remind you, we need to complete four missions, and Flirt is just one of them. I was think I was uh, thinking maybe that would be like a a walk by bug spot, but probably not. And I doubt here does have a good angle on it. We are going to get a print, so. Uh, I think I've seen an ambassador at statues. Oh, that that br briefcase is dead, even so. We don't even pick up a print. Yikes. Okay, but we can potentially pick up suspicion for a print, which is honestly even worse. The seduction is finished, 45 seconds on the clock. We will need to do something rash sometime soon. We are being offered the ring, and we have requested it, so it's gonna be a purline. Green test on that one, which might leave us with good odds for oh, later in the game. A bug! The bugs There's the bug! Could have been visible. The list is gone. And we're uh, just getting banana bread. That would be a really good rush. We are highlight, <laughs> but... We are marked as suspicious. The double agent is contacted. 10 seconds to go, and we will no not shot. any overtime. Ada? No shot! Not... What a rush from Hoon. What a delayed sure. three-mission rush. Three missions in the last 30 seconds. Gotta love to see it. And, uh... And we have been talking about that confusion, right? And I think Hunu has been pretty successful at that particular... thing. Because we've gotten a Perloin, but while the Perloin is in the chain, while we are waiting for someone to take the list, we just go and bug. And it's not the best bug, it's not completely invisible, but it's not visible enough for Ada to shoot. And it takes enough attention from the list being gone to pin us down as the true culprit. So, pretty cool way to finish the games that I didn't think we were finishing. Yeah, I felt like if I felt like if we're gonna do a rush, we're gonna get immediately noticed and shot. The of course the downside of rushing at the end that's that uh, snipers usually have an easier time seeing it when the, like an AI just starts to do missions out of nowhere. But who knew just finding the correct line of doing the missions in time and Arafish not be able to shoot as uh, yeah, being able to choose green on Perlin is a very good line, and I would suggest all snipers do that. As a matter of fact, I mean spies anyway. for sure. <laughs> Ada is now slightly behind, but can still save it with a good spy game over here, picking Boots as our spy. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, my favorite spy in 3, 2, 1, planet. Oh, one second. I need to restart. I'm on the wrong screen. We, can we go back? Um, can we go back? Okay, we're just gonna start it in 3, 2, 1, planet. <laughs> I'm glad you haven't been skipping on your counting exercises since the very least. I mean, you have to, sometimes you just forget what comes after one and two. So you should know. Well, the, the one that comes after one is plenty. And the one that no, if you want to, no, the one that comes after one is two because it's how it goes one, two, three, right? That's not how you count down. That's how you count up. We are gonna, we are gonna go to the statues. It's gonna be a side inspect at first, which means that we will need to return to those statues sometime soon in the future, uh, preferably in the next two minutes, forty-five seconds or so. So single inspect, as a matter of fact, and the single cycle as well. Single cycles are a little bit less suspicious uh, because, well, you're getting less inspects, so. In the meantime, we have done a floor for forty-three percent as well. I think that I, spe I think that uh, I want to say that uh, compared to the last set, of Davies and Hunu are slightly, on average, more skilled than Akovidi and Yeter. So maybe a low time for both of them, especially later on with no matches. This, this is a Turbisham slander, and I will not stand for it. I'm sorry, Yeter. I will never I'll speak of you again. I'll you know, Interbishum is capable of defeating Minioric with his eyes closed. So, I don't think Ada has that accolade in his uh, resume. Which, Ada Fiash has been the player that... The storyline around him is fascinating, because usually these people saying how slept on Ada Fiash is. But for this tournament, apparently the storyline is just everyone recognizing that he is a very good player. 
As a matter of fact, a lot of people have put him pretty far in the playoffs, up to and including winning the finals. So definitely something to keep an eye on. And well, the sniper side is usually the more important one, but getting spy wins. A white time ads right in front and of the. It's not a yep. I, I think it's doomed. Yeah, I feel like we're a dead spy walk in all those. Especially since there aren't any low lights as well coming out. Oh, it steals. Especially since you have only Seduce and one inspect to show for it. Um, I mean, we will still need to go to the statues if we want to finish that mission. So I'm going to assume that the sniper will want us to do that and will wait for us to do that. So, we might try to trick the count in other ways. For example, taking the list. Unfortunately, we were not able to choose a green in this particular uh, setup, which is, of course, a misplay and will probably be punished. But let's see. Who knows? Does not seem to react too much, in which I would expect a shot, but it doesn't come off yet. In good patience, um, if you know that. I feel like Boots is for even top suspect yet, so. If you know that Boots couldn't have finished missions, so there's no real reason to shoot. You can put even more pressure on the spy. Because here we go, we're going to the side statues. Problem with mission counting is sometimes you can get it wrong. And never not in this case. You can get it right. The list has been gone. We do have flirt naturally coming in pre-checked. A bug? Can be inferred, and that second inspect just straight up kills us. Which is not even waiting for a banana bread. Who knew confident in taking the shooting for free missions? And that I mean, time at most likely. If you go for a banana bread, if you try and wait for a banana bread, there is a chance for the spy to trick you, to trick your account by completing something else, right? There is a chance we swap uh, behind the conversation. There is a chance we bug and get away with it. So. I actually quite like the idea of being a little bit more proactive on the shots until we get punished for it, so... In any case, who looking to continue his winning ways, breaking the serve immediately, unlike the last set, going up 2-0, we'll see how, if we continue to be able to do that as general, going up in 3, 2, 1, play... Right. Well, uh, I have to comment on one very near and dear to my heart thing, which is completely relevant for the cast and is probably not what a professional caster would do, but that ST choice is atrocious and I will not stand for it. That said, it's only my opinion and it's not affiliated to the game in the slightest, so Luna can still proceed to win this game. Yeah, I would, ag I would have to reluctantly agree. Oh, we were next to Ambassador, but no bug. I mean, in general, while he has a really good walking bug, it's very hard to notice compared to someone like, let's say, Wheels. His standing bug isn't as great. You're a tall character, you lean a lot, so especially doing it at the front of the venue would be very risky. How are his microfilm animations as we take out the book and pick a fingerprint off of it? <laughs> yep. Uh, early finger for early difficult fingerprint that it is harder to credit that and more importantly keep track of that yeah that's true but if uh, ada is humble enough they will credit Huna with being able to hit a green which i mean Huna has hit a green before it was a pearl in this matter of fact so still yeah, we're really nice to the, hit this green for every flirt. Unfortunately, we don't. It's 33%. Man, how come we are standing right next to the perfect seduction target and yet that one does not have a triangle on it? I mean... Uh, oh no, it's not my choice. We are requesting a green, so that might be... That's a fingerprint, I think. That is a fingerprint drink, I think. Okay. Let's see if it is. Uh, no or, or maybe not. No test on the fingerprint yet. So apparently we were slightly too slow in requesting and taking the drink. So unfortunate for us. But 33% on the flirt, one fingerprint in hand, two minutes to go. 
we are in red. Okay, I was about to rag on the spy for being too slow, as we always do, but there is a banana bread, there is a second flirt, and I think we're back in the very nice, like, timing window to finish our missions in a respectable fashion. Yeah, would, would be, ideally, would, would pick up, like, a bug, so that would alleviate our time problems very well, but... I doubt for Yesh, keeping a close eye on the ambassador, his sniper camera has not let him out of his sights for any second of it, so... Might be hard I mean, to get away with. It's not too hard to do on her end, though, where... Every... Angle... Does cover... Most of the main, compared to, say, library, because we had that conversation in the set earlier. Uh, on library, you will be forced to take your eyes away from the ambassador at some point, which are moments that the spy can exploit in this particular case. Uh, no dice, no such luck. Uno will need to find either a very good bug to trick Ada into believing that no bug happened, or a time at, or some other way to finish missions. 40 seconds on the clock. We do have one mission done and two missions at half progress. There's gonna be a finish seduce. But what do we do now? Because we haven't even started the inspection yet. Yeah, that's the scary thing. Like, how do we complete? Uh, it's, it, it's not four of our eight. We need five out of eight. There is a bug here. Uh, we are not being highlighted for it just yet. The briefcase is stolen from us. We will need to purloin and uh, what is the last one? Fingerprint? Is there a oh, my purloin? Print? There's none. We need to time it and it's too slow. Oh. We start the action test at 0, zero, zero which uh, you know that's not gonna take. Just pretty close uh, by Hunu, but unfortunately just realizing that, oh, Oh no, we're out of time. Slightly too, slightly too late. But it was a valiant effort. Uh, unfortunately, it does mean that Ada now gets a chance to tie back the set. Yeah, luckily, sniper 5 of 8 Miranda is still pretty sniper side, I want to say. So, definitely not too much of a loss for Hunu as... It is it is hard to get away with the five out of eight against the really competent sniper like Adafayesh. And speaking of Adafayesh, he has picked Teal, or Rachel as you would like to call it. Um, we're gonna start it in three, two, one, playing it. Man, you're going through all of my nicknames before I even get to use them. Either way, Mom does opt not to take that bug very early on in the time of chaos, which could have been potentially interesting, but also was pre-watched for, it seems like. A first flirt, a very nice green test for 51%. At the green bookshelf as well, or was it just a cheese? Green is gonna go all the way as we go for... Apologies, that's spoilers. As we go for transfer and remove the microphone from the book, I'm a psychic, apparently. I mean, uh, that's why we have you on the cast, Josh. Only the best. Now, if only you were psychic while playing the games, that would be an I ideal as well, but... Anyways. Well, I have to keep it balanced for the competition. We appreciate that, Josh. Is Anyways, the Dark Piesh with... Half of transfer and half of seduce. Oh, I thought we were going for the briefcase there, but I unfortunately someone else just um, takes a takes it right beforehand. We're going to the green bookcase again. Is this close enough like for? It. Oh, oh no! Uh, Our seduction target doesn't like it. I don't like it as much anymore. But it is a pretty cool play, in my personal opinion, just going back to the green bookshelf, uh, reinforcing the fact that we weren't green, yes, but also uh, maybe seeding thoughts of, well, we were at the same bookshelf twice, so we could have done the microphone. It is a pretty nice play, especially if you're getting some additional progress alongside that, but unfortunately, uh, Disney does not seem to agree with us, so Rachel is forced to go into that conversation as a double agent. Indeed. 
banana bread sh feel like should come out. So now we're gonna go for a green banana into into green purloin play, but those doesn't seem that that's the case. So it would be very nice if our seduction target came to us, but sadly not the case. No, we can't just go to green book again. And the bread. Ah, uh, doesn't seem to be the case. Instead, we're gonna take a green banana bread and go to the green book case. A white on the flirt, unfortunately, and we're not credited with the banana split. Aye. We're not credited with the low light, that is. That would've been, I think that was what we were fishing for, but just not happening, unfortunately. Is this a, feel like a bug angle is here? It is. That's a very good bug from the sniper specific. I don't think it's they see at all. Yeah, Moomba's definitely popping off so far. Uh, minute, minute 20 on the clock and our mission progress, despite how much we have been doing so far, is kind of lacking. We do have bug done, sure, and it is a very nice mission to have done, but the use is still not done. The microphone is still in our hand, so a time ad is in the cards. I like this. It is another white late enough. Yeah. It, it is late enough for the sniper not to notice it. It is early enough and for the sniper red. not to notice it. And um, I actually like the idea of it being a white. Finally enough. It's uh, it, we do get real banana bread though, but unfortunately, like half of a party is already away, and we do pick up a highlight. I and wonder if that's going for to the transfer spot. Oh, that does not bite well for us. The second action test microphone is always the hardest. And Here it is. Why sure. time out? Oh, the hand, the hand goes. The hand and, goes. Oh, that's and the a bullet laser. goes. The hand goes. So does the bullet goes. Indeed. Who knew? Well, Keeping the advantage. 3 to 1. Steal ahead. Steal ahead. Uh, I mean, taking a game out of a death hash, I think, is expected to be an upset by pretty much everyone in that group i think so... that some people had koopa winning as well so Ooh. so I, I, th I think some people even had martini winning so i think that this group especially there's very it, that's not a lot of separating the top people let's, let's just say and every well, win matters the issues you are ahead after two venues, but there are six that you need to play, and there are still four venues where you can step and misstep, and you only need to lose two serves to necessarily go back to a losing position. Either way, Huno, high rise, three six. Uh, this time around, playing with the swap and the purloin, so more hardtail based scenario where we can't just go for those late uh, rushes potentially just chaotic hardtails to distract and confuse the sniper. Picking theft, which is not a common choice, but let's see how the game will go. In three, two, one, play net. Yeah, Taft's usually reserved as the ambassador, but that's the part it's that's the power of like randoming uh, the picks as well as like you never know what the opponent may or may not bring out. Wait Wait. I mean, Tef does have a few advantages, right? He, well, first of all, he is pretty burly, which does not matter much in this venue in particular, because all of the statues are, are so sniper facing. But it could be useful if you need to block something, block a swap, block even potentially a purloin, or a bug with your own hands. Which not the best bug because the hands are so big alongside the rest of him, but. Also, Deft um, is the fastest person because speed is uh, mass times inertia or something. And there is surely a lot of inertia in that man. In, uh, when you are working out so much and you're this yoked, like, you wouldn't, wouldn't you be passed? As anyways, we are spy AI controlled for an obscenely long time. There we go, third, first floor for 33%. We saw that play versus Martini. But I felt like that was more for pathing low light since Martini is prone to do that. But not sure if that play is worth it against the Dafoyesh. 
I don't think farming pets in low lights is gonna be worth it if your AI just stands in this conversation for a minute or so. I like the idea of going for an AI control game on high rise because this is the venue where AIs are very likely to finish. And, well, there is a lot of time for you to AI control and still save the game, but I would prefer to lean into it maybe a little bit more and just look at the party, see who is done with inspects potentially, because that is the main target, right? And get a real banana bread for them and banana bread. go on to the next game. There's a banana bread, speaking of. Uh, two low lights, not too shabby, but not too great either. Indeed, uh, but unfortunately, those are were the highlights that we are we really brought down to low lights. So, and that's why you need to look at the party because uh, being able to read what the sniper is doing is very important in those frame games. And unfortunately, um, it's harder than it looks. It's way harder than it looks. Our progress is not looking too great, um, but we are being offered ring, so there might be something in the cards for us. And there is something in the cards. A great perloid. Now it's gonna, just... gonna be see how long the chain is. Oh, text takes. About that, yeah, that's um, a chain. Um, it's not this. Not a white. The chain's longer than one, so that's good. But we really need Rocker to end up in a conversation somewhere. In preferably in the next five seconds, but we will not be able to clerk in time. We still need to Oh we need a hit to the green here. Oh never mind, sixteen. Yeah. Uh we are done with missions at nine oh six, so that means there will be virtually no overtime. And there's no shot. Is the perfect uh window for the missions to be completed in because you get that hint of an overtime, but you don't really get to react to it. The, the beefs weren't are... even started. That was perfect uh, finish timing from Hunu. And I think that uh, Martini just... Not really... Maybe just a little missing. Not remembering who was or wasn't in the chain. Or maybe not noticing Pearl immediately. That's kind of cost them the game, I feel. Because uh, the chain wasn't very long. It was, I think, only like us and uh, text there. But if I to, to be fair, I don't think Martini really needs to worry about those things. But a death yash on the other hand now needs to win that spy game to keep himself in the game somewhat. Uh, picking up a twin. I'm telling you, the shuffler is rigged. It's illegal. How many twins there are? You say that maybe you're just a fan of twins. That's the wrong twin. Blink twin. Anyways, let's see if Adafayash can strike back. We'd really need to get a spy win here too. Not go down 5-1 and have to win six games in a row to secure a win and not losing any game in the meantime. And we're gonna go in three, two, one, play it. This is a good place to start though because there are definitely a lot of opportunities to break serve on here. Yeah, a safe shot is quite likely here. I feel like a good, quick, a better play would be. I want to say, I don't, I don't know if it's a better play. If we get a 51% flirt, there's a lot of um, ins uh, inspect free statues selected. Uh, but I feel like if you select fingerprint and then AI finishes fingerprint, even if like with one or two difficults, that feels like so much more spy like. Species are so much. You're so much less likely to finish the fingerprints compared to inspects because look at it, Smallman is already done. You just need to get him talking and you just need to get him in the banana bread. And that's basically your shot for the night. You're done. Uh, that's why inspects are so powerful on high rise and that's why you need to keep them in virtually every setup. I I've seen some snipers dropping inspects entirely. I think. And the known double agent enters the conversation right next to Smallman, which has banana bread, and that's a shot straight up. Don't, uh, maybe not immediately, because uh, we know that this one, especially, Smallman couldn't have possibly done with Flirt, so we can hold it and see if uh, Smallman is going to be finishing Flirt. Since he's well, not talking too much. How many snipers really do care about Flirt, though? 
Yeah. I would say that, uh, it, well, it doesn't help Pohunu that small man is talking a lot. <laughs> no. Oh no. This is so unfortunate. Where shouldn't small man right as the spy starts bugging? Oh no. Yeah, right as we go for a bug here. No, 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 no. You were correct. Oh. You were correct. Small. I guess it's also small man, so maybe you think, oh my god, I may have missed something because he's small man. Oh, it's definitely small man. He, he's also, I believe, having a drink in a hand, so potentially some purloin uh, action happening in the background there, because Theft is very good at covering the tray. Any case, uh, Adafriash does find the... Sith shot they need to keep this uh, level, I would say level 4 to 2, it would have been devastating, I think it would be 5 to 1. Moving on to Aquarium, interesting, I'm really interested to see, and I think at this point I shouldn't be surprised that it's one of the two twins. This it's time's... rigged, I'm telling you. It's I... not even a conspiracy theory, it's just a fact at this point. <laughs> Let's see, I don't know how... I think Twins did have a good success rate at the start of the set, so... Maybe they know something that we don't. But alas, Hunu's gonna try to find another spy win as Twin. 3, 2, 1, play net. Now, I know that both of those players are in your group, so there's some potentials that you may have done research. Is Hunu likely to go for any shark nags? Uh... Not super likely. I think like out of uh, when watching all of the players, Martini in my group is definitely the one to abuse the shark the most. And uh, I'm not saying that they are they don't play around the shark. Absolutely they do, but they don't. I think there's a little bit of difference between let's say Martini and Hunu. Definitely they're still good in this venue. Not gonna lie, I'm not gonna slander them. They're definitely still very good in this venue, but not as. How's the Daphiash in that regard? I think uh, somewhat similar. I think maybe a little bit better of like get abusing the shark, but I think Martini is still the best in that in my group comparatively. Oh, and this is a godsend. Seduction target comes right for us. That was honestly pretty good because we were spending a literal minute doing nothing. So. Again, a very nice little green flirt to start things off. Slightly later than, I mean, would have been ideal, but no game is perfect. Um, we, we can't all be OP. If he's so perfect, why hasn't won a Summer Cup yet? Hey, look. He's a DO, he can't win the, the Summer Cup, it would be legal. Fair enough. Speaking of doing things, who knew? Two flirting. I think that was the first two flirt out coming out of who knew, which is nice to see. No insta leaf. The two flirt is always nice. It's a leaf behind the shark. I think it doesn't matter too much. But now we're going into a statue, and as a matter of fact, it is actually fingerprintable, so that's a nice little bit of progress to keep us going. Now we just need one more fingerprint, and we can go attempt the funny thing. Um, I mean, we can attempt the funny thing, but uh, yeah, we see, we need a banana bread. But unfortunately, there's no thing. Oh, sniper's very focused on. Oh, we're going statue oh. to statue. Oh, we, we don't even need a banana bread. We just need to get that fingerprintable statue as well. Oh, that's gonna be our inspect. That's gonna be our fingerprints. That's three missions. That's that swap as well. That's swap behind the shark. It's not necessarily seen. Six, five. Four, three, we're trying to walk behind the shark so we're not necessarily seen. That little flipper, that little fin on the bottom provides just enough cover for Hunu to accomplish the deed. We, uh, Ooh, that was nice. Our cells maybe weren't really hidden all the time, around four seconds. You can definitely see our highlighted feet below the shark. But the, very importantly, the, uh, the tail slash fin area just blocks the statues. So we just uh, can't see and conf never confirm or deny that it is a swap. And I mean, 
to shoot for this finish, you need to see two things, right? First of all, you need to see the statue, and second of all, you need to see the spy. The statue has been hidden pretty well by the fiend, by the... Sorry, not the fiend, but by the shark's body and by the shark's tail. While we ourselves, incidentally, I'm not sure how necessarily random it was, because uh, some stutter stepping from Hunu's side suggests that it was a conscious play. Uh, that little fin on the bottom has hidden us pretty well as well, so a double double shot for Hunu there as Ada falls victim to the shark tank and then goes down to the five. Um, yeah, do you think that the sniper should get two bullets, so one we could shoot the shark and the other shoot the spy if needed? Uh, spy party is against animal cruelty, so there will be no shooting the shark. Um, Fair enough. Thank you very much. Fair enough. That's it. Ada now needs to play the spy game and needs to win it, pretty much, because sweeping the rest of the set to win the game, you kind of want that win. I mean, if not a win, then at least a tie, because taking losses in that group can be very disastrous out of nowhere. It agreed, and Adaf Kriyash going to pick Irish again, I think. I think it's only been Irish twins, but in any case, we're gonna start it in three, two, one, playing it. There was definitely a tough game. Yeah. No, but the, it just feels like oh, most of the time it's just <laughs> Irish and twins. This like not just this game, but this cast as well. Especially that's, twins, but the, that's how you know someone's randoming. You they get ninety percent twins. I'm not sure how that random works, but um, in any case, because we got. It's rigged. <laughs> uh, 25% of the first flirt. Uh, not the best percentage. We will still get there with, I think, two close whites. But we will need to be close to our seduction target and or need to hit a green test. Which, not the worst position to be in, but not the best one either. We're definitely going to need to hit a couple of greens at the very minimum, as we hit another white for 42%. Well, the biggest green flirts that you can get is 51%, so that means we will need two talks to finish that flirt, at the least. Um, we might hit a very rough patch where we don't hit any flirts, and it will take a while, but without it, I believe in Ada's ability to uh, get closer to our seduction target, especially considering that there's still uh, two minutes for it to play. But uh, might want some mission progress alongside that. Yeah, just another white. Oh, that's green, sorry, for 68%, and we immediately leave for banana bread. Like it. We get the timer flirt, but we leave immediately just so we get that flirtation cooldown lower. We go for a talk because you can't really join and leave conversation without talking, unless you are the spy, and we're surely not the spy, are we? No, we'd never be the spy, we're not twin. Indeed, so you're catching on. Uh, gonna go request a drink, so it's gonna be a difficult fingerprint over here, and also, potentially more important, gonna be a delegate. So. Yeah, but we feel like this delegate has got to, got to have to... Oh, we reject. Oh. Likes that play, and I don't like it at the same point. Because it does mean we don't get a, f a print, and the sniper knows we're not taking a print. On the other hand, we're not taking a purloin, and the sniper might still assume that we're taking the purloin, because delegate cheesing has been a thing that's popular with the kids, so to speak. Again, with minute 20 with no progress over into Flirt, and doesn't seem that we are going for any kind of progress thus far. We're going to the another conversation circle that has nothing for us. No DA, no selection, no nothing. We bail immediately because of it, it seems. I mean, well, I mean, it's on the clock, uh, we only have one mission done and no other progress at all, so it's pretty solid, pretty solid idea to add some time. We're actually gonna add 45 seconds to the clock, it's gonna be a green test, so the sniper will not necessarily catch on too much. And you know what's the best thing to do with the time add? Do another one? 
Yes. This one, however, is going to be a white vest, so a bit unfortunate it's there. Uh, Luckily, it was right before the beep, so... We didn't have a time add during the last 30 seconds, so... <laughs> yes, that's definitely why Ada is a good spy, right? Because you need to recognize when you need a time add, and you need to recognize it before you do anything stupid. And, well, last 30 seconds is a pretty stupid time to be a spy, to be, to be honest. Let's just say bold. In any case... Sure. <laughs> Um, in any case, just, again, even though those time as we just... Um, are we trying to frame someone? We're hoping that someone's gonna join the conversation? Because I feel at this point it's a pretty good banana bread. But... I mean, the longer the game goes on, the more stuff the AIs will do. And it's not like who knows actively low lighting people, right? Uh, there are four low lights currently non-cast members, I wonder what they may be just like idling slash bathing. But again, which speaking of idling, we're doing that. We are out of extra times that we have given to ourselves. Uh, might need to go for a banana bread. Big banana um, yet bread. Again? Okay. Um potentially looking at Sari as our frame target. Always, always look at ZST when you're trying to think who's a spy who is trying to frame, but we are in the funny time. Uh, 20 seconds left on the clock. We have one mission done out of four. Um, well, yeah. there still can be a safe shot, right? Yeah, I think they're just banking on it because we're not moving to, co to add time and we're just seems to get to idle out. We're, we're ho it seems we're hoping for a safe shot, but with a correct hold and I feel like I, f I think it's a little bit of a perplexing game honestly for me I like yeah. the concept of uh, not uh, finishing in one game just to show the snipers that yes you are in fact capable of timing out so you don't need to shoot any single game and then well expectation subversion you know the classic spy switcheroo but <laughs> I'm not sure how likely you are to get a win with that play if you're spying against someone who has five points and needs seven. So right now, a tie is the best result that Ada can go for. And uh, feels like a little bit of an underperformance to me. Yeah, thus far, I feel like I, feel, I think Ada may not play the I mean, no credit, no credit weight taken from Hunu. They had some pretty good spy, very good spy games, but I feel like Adam, especially on the spy side, may be a little bit underperforming thus far. But in any case, Hunu is looking to secure a win on Courtyard Spy. Not the easiest place to do it, but you have four chances to do it, so pressure is definitely off from Hunu. As he already secured a card, tied. And uh, we're gonna start it going up a salmon. In three, two, one, play net. We got naturally a very spy sided venue, so gonna be pretty hard for Ada to keep track of everything. And we do go straight for that flirt. 35% on that one. We get a drink from the waiter without purloining or doing anything stupid. Yeah, I want to say, I say interesting. Uh, hit. Ada is one of those pe people who doesn't use lights a ton. That has a benefit of uh, not revealing too much from a sniper. But uh, especially it's like courtyard, the, pl the standard play is to highlight anyone who stat visits statues. And while we did for most, like some of the statue visitors weren't highlighted. So I'm wondering like what initiates Ada to highlight someone for statues and what doesn't. And the other thing that it helps with is just having less uh, noise at the party to look at. Which is an underappreciated aspect of this, because... Well... Uh, at the start of my spy party journey, I was highlighting every book take, because I thought that would help me. And that lasted until the first game of library. And let me tell you, trying to snipe a venue where everyone is highlighted is a mess. You can't see anything. 
well, I if um, going to library, going to highlight every single person who touches book at library, isn't the point of libraries to touch books and read them? Yes, but that's a mission, so. <laughs> Fair enough. Because we, again, we're going for a bit of a slower game, 55% flirt. No other progress done thus far. Luckily, Courtyard does have a, quite a high mission density, so you are able to kind of rush missions at the later stages of the game. Still not feeling super safe doing that, I feel. You don't always need to. There's always potential swap frame attempts. Uh, I'm sure that Ada will be on top of those, but still important to keep in mind, potentially. Also, if you get lucky with fingerprints, there's something to be found there. Also, there is just a chance that you choose to green a line for once, and that will lead to a highlight game shot. I like the idea of holding our banana bread, actually, because that does allow us to get as many statue goers as possible for it. But we can't hold on for much longer. 40 seconds to go, our seduction being the only mission done so far. Who knew? That would be in a little bit of a time trouble. I feel like it's going to have to be like quick rush banana bread into inspect swap, but unfortunately our seduction target boots is moving away. We are going to statues. It's probably going to be inspect swap. 18 seconds on the clock. Well, very, very, and our double agent is not even here in a red inspect. We just finished the inspect in time before... And white swap. Pop. White swap. <laughs> it is not on screen. We need a banana bread. Three, two, one. There is a bug. But we need a bug. It is a crash bug. And unfortunately, it's not a super great crash bug. It is very easily seen. And Ada does shoot for that. Staying I mean, alive for the tie. You were speaking about late rushes being possible on high res due to high emission density. Yes. But we never said they would be good, right? They can be good. This one particular, maybe. The swap is nice. If we had a contact, maybe it would have been better. But that the bug right in front of the sniper where our arm is very visible is not a super high. It, it, it's not a very high win play, let's just say. And Ada does not miss those, and it's nice for that, and keeping yourself alive, at least for a time. Well, 3 to 6, so... 3 downs, 3 to go. Ada, now playing as Disney. And yeah, let's see how this one will go, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, playing it. So, um... Walt, uh, is a spy from the trailer, so probably the one people are... Actually, no, never mind. People know Smallman more, but he's a pretty famous character as far as Spy Party goes, but not necessarily the best. I think that because uh, you want the bug animation to be visible in the trailer, his hands are slightly bigger than you would expect, and that makes his bugs a lot worse than you would expect. So, naturally, bug being the main char characteristic for character selection in this particular day and age, apparently. Uh, leaves him in the bottom of the tier list. He still saw that he's still a good spy. I will have no worries. We'd... Meanwhile, we did have small men leaving us for the first part, but luckily we were managed. did they manage to get the second one. It is on 29%. So we're gonna need to hit a, a green if we don't want to get a a four flirt, which sounds rough. And the red. We do get a, a real BB. It is a green as well. Only three low lights coming out of that. So, and we did have a bug. We did have a bug that's even I missed initially, but well, Ada. Uno didn't. Um, the highlight is there. Highlight is there. Well, uh, banana bread is there. We are in for the banana bread, I assume. And we are in for the statue inspect. So just need to either shoot for the inspects or potentially for the flirt two minutes down the line, which, while I believe in the first one, I don't necessarily believe in the second. 
Actually, if we're gonna get away with a timer flirt, potentially. 80 seconds on the flirt. I think if you want to shoot Disney, you should now. Yeah, but uh, if if we were sure about this standing lock, maybe we would have seen already the shot, but maybe it's just we like... not sure about the bug. Yeah, and sometimes those standing bugs, especially on court chart, can be pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Spies these uh, in this time seem to be gone very very good at catching all kinds of walking bugs and but just uh, standing was sometimes not as well guarded sometimes or paid attention to and that's laced exploitation as Ada just did unless we are able to shoot for the last for this mission when countdown and doesn't seem that from the Hunus laser. One, and two, Ada three, stays one, alive. Well, we we were speaking about flirt finishes earlier today, but uh, as a recap, a flirt finish is good uh, when you know that the sniper does not have you. The sniper does not have the count on you already. And that way, you're just talking for two minutes. The longer the more time is spent before between your last significant mission and you finishing your flirt and going into mission win countdown the less likely you are to be shot so if you get to a position where you're not get shot for that first talk you can essentially do the second talk at any point ada could have straight up went and gone and just gone into overtime forcing hunu to shoot someone else yeah but unfortunately for hunu he wasn't able to find the shot and now the we're moving on to the last venue pub who still needs just one win to secure a win against ada which would be huge for him in this really a a more gauntlet of a group and ada desperately staying alive on the sniper who picking up boots for their final spare game let's see how they do in three two one play net yeah, for a sniper K Florida is not very kind to the spies. So much to do, so much to see, and the first flirt is going to be a green as our seduction target ends right next to us. As the back straights are certainly favorable to us so far. Indeed, and we pick up an early inspect as well. Shouldn't have us a highlight, indeed. But, um,. Yeah, wondering if uh, we, especially if we two flirt this, and our seduction target does seem to go into the conversation with the double agent there, if we just talk and go do a banana bread, it would it, I would say it would have been a really strong play and would have been quite hard to shoot for. Who knew? It seems to agree with me going to the, to that direction. It would be hard to shoot for, if not for a fact that we're one of the only people who have inspects. So, oh, the more people there are that have inspects and banana bread, the less likely we are to be shot and the more I like to play. But now that we actually have a banana bread, we are talking for a banana bread. Oh. We are just gonna get shot for a flirt now, It's not yet, 85%. Not shot yet. Okay, so if we are not shot yet, how likely are we to get shot for the next one? I mean, uh, maybe we're just... Uh, I guess we probably we will, because maybe we didn't see the flirt at the windows initially. And uh, if we do another talk here, at rise besides uh, either play and twin or Alice there, we could be credited with finishing, especially our conversation had oh. the only one real. Yeah. I like that theory actually, because we were not seen doing the first flirt, that third flirt will be seen as second. Here it is, it, well, it's, it is off now. cooldown. It, mission would cap, five seconds left. Oh, it is. It is a shot. It is a, indeed a shot. I feel like if, if we hit that green flirt, I think we're definitely close enough for the flirt. Uh, to be a green flirt would have finished there. I mean, yeah, that's the margin of green, error. Not choosing to green is always a misplay, but look. You can't get them all. Yeah, and definitely you can't. Ada just uh, 
with a correct uh, flirt pairing and timing shoots the spy for flirting. Ada's a good sniper. Who would have guessed? Um, it's almost like they are both are very good. You just need to get that last game now. Ada, one game away from the tie, which is not the best outcome, yes, but is the outcome that we were kind of hoping for. Look Stanley's who it is. Look who it yeah. is, Ada. Um. <sighs> I'm telling you, it's rigged. It's so hella rigged. In any case, let's see if this rigging is going to work for Ada. With going all the way from 6-2 to, to a potential tie. Last game of pop as Blink Twin in 3, 2, 1, playing it. And going straight into the bar and we're hit by the pillar. Now we see. Okay, no. Now that the laser is moving, we are seen, but we do do the cheese thing. Uh, delegate in hand. We can just straight up to use delegate, go chase uh, rocker to the use again, and then just go banana bread for her and win the game off of that. There's a flirt. Yeah, thirty-four percent flirt. I feel like especially on this, this the pop feels like the hardest venue to get away with free, free flirts, like well, flirt especially. But if you are going to do flirt, you really want to be a two flirt. And we're delegating. I would have liked the idea of just chasing Rocker into bar and flirting there again. I understand why people would not want to do that because well, the Perloin comes off. The list is taken. We're going for a oh, fuck! But the shot is and that's a set. That is a set. <laughs> oh, it's the just. Didn't see us at the bar, probably, and thinking, my god, this is probably just a... Uh, just a direct take from Rocker. But unfortunately, Hunu was not correct in that assumption. And that'll lead Ada to coming back all the way from 6-2 to securing a tie, which... Because we are zooming in on Rocker, we don't see that bug attempt, which I don't think was very good. We did we I think that was the second time that we shot right as the bug attempt came off. Of course, I, it was that's definitely the second time today where the shot comes off on the delegate target. Yeah, more of a store I guess more of the set is the twin always wins, the as Ada says. Because I think twins had a really really good win rate. Maybe there is something oh, of to this right. Gonna have a good win rate. You're getting picked every second game. That's not how win rates work, but let me rant. <laughs> Anyways, and, but with that swift end, it's gonna be... That's gonna be both games. And uh, you, were men you mentioned about... You mentioned about... Um, the game... You mentioned about the group E and how the three... Uh, the two... Uh, like, the three players are gonna go up against the two bears. How this tie is gonna affect this group, I wonder, because... It could be messy. The way I would probably see a tie in this particular scenario is a loss for both players. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't make much sense, but I think that both of them get less than they would have gotten for a win. And I think that Hunu had a win almost in the pocket for four games in a row, unfortunately was not able to close it out. Ada was projected to win this game, unfortunately it did not pan out as well, but still managed to clutch a tie. I think Ada is going to be happier with that result than Hunu is, but both of them are just losing points against each other in a group that's very competitive where every single point can matter. Yeah, I feel like yeah, that could be especially messy, especially depending on how other... If there aren't any other ties, let's just say, in the group, that could be especially messy. But that is from the future, not uh, not to speculate. That'll be the end of the cast. Um, thank you for being here, all of you. If you like this game and you wanted to pick it up or play it, it is available on Steam Early Access or at www.spyparty.com. I also highly recommend to join the Discord, our official Spy Party Discord at Discord slash GG slash Spy Party. There's because a lot of that's where all of the competitive stuff happens, and uh, you might even get a chance to get casted. 
As a matter of fact, the next tournament is actually gonna be more of a casual one, which is not as rare as it was a few years back, but it's still quite an uncommon occurrence. So yeah, the please, uh show up, sign up for uh, Megalodon Motel, and be the biggest shark in the pond. You yeah, the signups are open, so and anyone is welcome so for that. So. Please do and join. We have a very friendly community that uh, would be happy to help you out. But with that said, thank you for all you being here. Thank you, Yash, for joining me, for stepping up in some casters dropping out. And we shall oh, see you next time. Till then. Have fun. It is mandatory after all. Party well.